I'm Michael and this is my short review of Seasons and as you can see this is a beautiful game I absolutely love it this is one of my top games probably my second most favorite game of all time and the reasons I love it are you look at this art, you look at the art on the cards, everything in this game is gorgeous. The dice are these bright, vibrant colours, not to mention fantastic heavyweight component that feels great to play with, gives a fantastic tactile experience to the game. And that's the thing, all the components in this give a fantastic experience. The mechanics are superb. The majority of the game is made up of drafting. You start by drafting cards, which is fantastic, it's fun, it's interesting. And what makes it more interesting is that of the nine cards you're drafting, you know three you're not going to have till the second age, and the three you're not going to have till the final year. So the game's made up these three years, and you know you're not going to have those cards. And you've got to think, right, well, three I've got to put to the end, three in the middle, and what do I want to have as my early game cards? You know, you're breaking the game up like that when you're doing your draft. And you're doing that at the very beginning, so you don't know how towards the end it's going to have played out. It works fantastically. And then during the game, you're drafting your dice, and your dice are then dictating what you're able to do that turn and the dice that you'll be rolling to be able to draft from are changing because of the season's mechanic of that rondelle that you're going round and you go round that three times, hence the three years. It is a great game. The interaction in the game is very high. There are a lot of cards that affect other players and even without that, the act of drafting is interactive. If you're first to draft, you can hate draft. You can look at what they need and prevent them getting it or you can focus more on what you need. It is a game that has interaction but the interaction is rarely nasty and so it works for everyone. Now I would say this isn't the simplest of games. But the game knows that, the designers knew that, and they've worked to make this easy for you to get into. So in the rulebook, they have preset cards that you can start with to get you used to the game, to get you used to the cards and how they work. And then you try a different preset deck and a different preset deck. And then you use a small subset of the cards to do your initial drafts. And then you add in the whole lot and you've got a ton of replay value. By this point, you're probably three or four games played under your belt before you even add in all the cards. And all the cards, because there are 100 cards, mean there is tons of replay value. But if that's not enough for you, you can then go out and buy all the expansions that there are. So an absolutely phenomenal game. With regards to scaling, it's at its best for me with two players, but it does work really well with them all. The only issue is at four players, you tend to have a slight downtime problem during the dice drafting aspect of the game. Okay, so that is my quick short thoughts on Seasons. One of the best games there is. So, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as sharing and subscribing to it. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.